Thanks to Sennheiser and Kingston for powering our NAB coverage this year. Check them out at the links in the video description. So many of you know the mainstream camera brands like Canon, Sony, and Panasonic. You may not have heard of a little company called Kinefinity. They're a Chinese camera brand manufacturer that is up till now focused on making high quality raw cameras on a budget. This year they unveiled a camera they're calling the Terra. Now what makes the Terra such an interesting entry into the camera market is that it's available in both a 6K resolution model and a 5K resolution model, each of which costs $6,000 and $5,000 respectively. Kinefinity has effectively delivered the most budget effective 6K camera currently on the market, but there's more to this camera than simply high resolution. The 6K sensor is drawing from Kinefinity's previous Kinemax 6K camera, but delivering it in a small form factor that solo camera operators like myself love. Both models of the Terra will support standard 2.5 inch SSDs and while Kinefinity will sell their own, you have the option of using fast third party SSDs as well. The 5K model of the Terra will support both a rolling shutter and a global shutter simultaneously, giving you an option to choose between each mode depending on your shooting situation. While this does affect your dynamic range on the camera, the rolling shutter mode will have 15 stops of dynamic range and the global shutter will have 13 stops of dynamic range, both very respectable numbers for any camera on the market. The Terra does support the typical raw recording they have been known for, however it will also be the first time any Kinefinity camera is able to record up to ProRes HQ internally. Which makes handling the files in post-production a much more streamlined process versus the raw workflow. Kinefinity has also mentioned to me that they're working hard to enable their high frame rate modes to also record directly into ProRes internally. The high frame rate modes on the Terra allow up to 225 FPS on the 6K model and up to 200 FPS on the 5K model giving very solid slow motion capabilities to this camera. Accessory wise, Kinefinity has the option to add their own version of what is essentially a speed booster similar to the adapter I covered in this video here. The Terra is also fully compatible with their current Kiniback module that adds on dual XLR ports, SDI out, timecode in and out, and DC power outputs. I am glad we are seeing cameras like the Terra get released into the current market since we are now really coming into the time where previously unthinkable features are coming into cameras below the $10,000 price point, continuing the trend of accessibility for nearly anyone working at a professional level. Thanks again to Sennheiser for sending us to NAB this year, make sure to check out all of their new stuff for NAB in the links in the video description. Also thanks to Kingston for sending us here this year, check out their brand new super fast micro SD card made for action cameras like the GoPro, also linked in the video description. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of the Terra down in the comments below. And for all the rest of our NAB 2016 coverage, don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips.